I am going to show you how to do a sternal release with your cordless ball. It is great for calming down your nervous system. It is great for working on if you have a desk job and you're rounded forward a lot. It's going to work those fascial attachments um, from your pecs into your sternum. Those muscles that we hold so tight in through the front of our neck, it's going to help to free that up. And you kind of just play around with where you feel tightest at. Um, you're going to use our little blown up cordless ball or Pilates ball to do it. And you can have it fully blown up for more intense, or you can have it less inflated to be less intense. So just pick what works for you. Um, and it works best if you do it skin on ball. So if you want to, you can always, you know, like just like when we use it for thoracolumbar fascia release on our low back, we want it right on the skin to grip the tissue and twist and create that fascial movement. So the same thing for this area. Um, and um, we'll get started. So you just take your ball, you're gonna lie down on the ground. You're gonna place the ball. We're gonna start up high, so like right around the collarbone. You're gonna bring that right at the collarbone. You kind of rest over. Now it's almost like at the front of my throat because I want to get um, start at the very top of the of the sternum. And then I'm just going to shift the shoulder side to side after I take a few breaths to kind of calm myself. And I'm working it along for the collarbone from one side to the other. Just kind of a little cobra shifting side to side. And if I find a spot that's a little tense or tender, I can hold that for a second. You can move yourself on the ball. So if I'm letting the pressure stick to the ball and then I'm shifting my, my body so that it's gripping the skin and twisting, same thing in the other direction. Then I'm gonna scoot the ball down just a little bit so it's more lower than the, uh, the collarbones. Same thing, take a few breaths there. You can shift side to side so it's kind of working its way now into your pecs. And we tend to have really shortened pecs sometimes if we have a seated job or something like that. And then you can even try some crawling type motion. So I'm really reaching out with my left arm and bending up my right leg. Then I'm gonna switch, reaching with that right arm, bending the left leg. Scoot the ball around, kind of find where the tightest spot is. And then you can shift side to side again, working that whole area of the pec and the sternum. Because remember the pecs insert along the collarbone, the sternum, and then down lower onto the ribs. So we want to make sure we get all the attachments of the pecs kind of working those out. So if you think of how people love to foam roll things and foam roll like their legs and those easy muscles to target, the chest can be something that's harder to pinpoint because it's a more sensitive area. For women, they have their chest in the way. So again, rolling back and forth, kind of getting good movement of the rib cage doing that cross crawl pattern. So you're kind of rounding yourself over the ball. Again, the more inflated, the more intense. Again, shifting side to side, getting some good movement over the ball. So I like to start at the top, work my way down, try to assess which side feels tighter or not. And that gives me a good idea of where I need to focus on my day-to-day -day activities where I'm holding more tension and why. So let me know how it goes.